Okay, so we're going to draw this first rectangle in the very first rectangle of our paper that I had you divide up into 16 rectangles. We're going to fill the top left rectangle first using copying what we see. So as I said, um, set up the conditions for your right brain. It's non-verbal, which means you want to be in a place where you are not distracted where you're not hearing anybody trying to talk to you where you're not talking you want to be non-verbal so that you can start to really focus on what it is that you are seeing and we're going to try to draw the what we're seeing the way we see it and we kind of take in the whole shape this whole rectangle and we want to see and try to draw the curve that we're seeing. We want to draw it in relation to the position of the rectangle. It's kind of in the lower right portion of the rectangle. Um, we want to end on the right side in the correct location. We want it to curve down to the lower left and fill it in. It's not one skinny line. It's a thick line. It looks like it gets a little bit a little bit thicker in the middle and we're also noticing the space around it and the space kind of down in the lower right hand corner we want this shape this white shape to match our white shape we want to leave the same shape so this is all about really closely looking and looking at the relationship how the parts kind of fit in the hole and the whole to the whole thing and I'm just going to zoom in a little bit and give you some tips so something that you can do that I think is helpful is maybe make some light marks where the halfway point is along the edges. That will help us take a look at this line and see how it relates as far as um, the distance between the top space, this white space on the right, and then where it falls kind of close to center and how much space it leaves down below it over here where that curve it ends in the lower left hand corner we're kind of comparing how much space is left there how close it is to center and we're going to try to match that so we want the the white space the shape that we're seeing there we want that to relate as well after we've drawn this so you can also as a tip i would mark very lightly along your four edges maybe make some marks where center is where you think center is on that so when i'm looking at this i'm checking out where i think this top curve for this thick line where it's it's coming in contact with the right edge and it's just below where i've marked center so i know that this curve is going to be kind of close to center so maybe i start that line and then i want to see where it ends so as i look down here at the end it is gosh i could even i could even divide this into half if i want maybe i'll do that here to help me out it's falling along the bottom i would say not quite in the center of that portion and now i can connect those i'm just going to go ahead and draw that lightly in i'm even looking at the shape of the white space around my line so does this match this and i'm going to go ahead and draw in the bottom of this curve this thick line that i'm seeing i'm going to draw in that bottom line and even as i'm drawing it i'm looking at the distance from that line to the bottom to that corner and i want to make sure that that is relatively similar maybe i make the mark where it ends in the bottom left corner it's look at check out how much space it is from center so i want that to sort of relate maybe about there now i can go ahead and draw that in kind of meet up with the line that's along the right edge that looks pretty good i'm even taking note of relationship wise this space in the lower right corner i'm looking to look at my shape that's left over that space there that's going to remain white does that look similar as far as a shape goes and i think you know what? i'm pretty happy with it so now i'm gonna fill this in and this doesn't have to be perfect it doesn't have to be completely filled in solid black just 
fill that in best you can. You may want to take a little more time than I am, but I'm going to say that's pretty good there. And I may make a few more adjustments after I turn this off. But that is my first rectangle that I drew in the top left of my page. I'm going to zoom out so you can kind of see it. There it is. And that's our first drawing. And now I'll do the same thing with the other tiles and I'll make separate little videos so that these don't seem so long and overwhelming. And then I'll also take some photos um, close up because even if you're seeing this close up on the screen, it may appear larger to you that you're looking on your computer as, and then you go to fill in your piece of paper. Um, mark those edges where center is and then mark them along here and just have those things relate to each other. So you can take a small image and you could actually make this very large if you wanted, just as long as things are landing in the same location on the bigger piece of paper so that the, the lines relate and the shapes that you're leaving around your lines are relating as well. So there's your first video.